Hello, everybody! My names are Dendris, and welcome back to that time I got reincarnated in Minecraft! I was getting ready to hit start recording, because I've been on doing prep work, and this dragon decided to have a go at me. It was a bad idea on your part. I'm... I don't even have to activate Berserker. I can just start swinging. Yeah, that was not a good idea. That thing chased me from like miles away even. Like I think its nest is like 300 blocks that way. <laughs> like uh, you can see where I am. It came, maybe it came from a nest in the dark area that I miss, but I believe that it was one of yeah, there was a nest here, but I killed this dragon. There were two nests here. I killed one of these dragons and then I left the other one alive. It was one of these two, like 300 blocks away. But, uh, oh, well, just tell, I guess I'll take the skills anyways. I've, I've sort of been running away from dragons for a little while now. You can go away too. Anyways, welcome back to that time I got reincarnated in Minecraft. Last time, we... Made the sort of evil Morgan. We were testing out its capabilities. And uh, also growing it in strength by quite a large margin. It's a... Uh, it's uh, not a good sword. <laughs> or I mean, it's good as in it is powerful. But this sword is truly evil. It grows in power by killing villagers and it is up to 21 attack damage. I've killed, like, 600? No, no, no. It's 25 per each attack damage. Starting at 1, plus it has 3 extra from its sharpness. So, 17.6 times 25 uh, times 0.25, right? I don't, uh, my, my, my brain can't do math right now. Basically, every five villagers it goes up by 0.2, so 25 villager deaths equals one attack damage. So 25 times 17 plus the 0.6, which is an extra 15. So, uh, I'll have to do the proper math on that in a moment, but it's a lot of villagers that have met their end at this sword's blade are they gone i had actually stopped here to come back in because there were some special wolves i wanted to take a look at but i think the other stuff in the area might have killed them either that or they despawned but that would mean they're the only things in the mod that despawn really dang it there was a whole pack of tempest wolves with the dire boss and everything i wanted to show them off because we haven't gotten a chance to yet Oh, well. But, um, anyways, at the end of last time, we were at 10 attack damage or 12 attack damage or something like that. So, I've just been on here training up the sword a lot more, letting it heal up by drinking the blood of the innocent. Yeah, we are definitely going down the evil route. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So many dead villagers, it's not even funny. But, it, but we have a really strong blade now. I just need to finish getting it at some breaking. It's, uh... Yeah, I've been on here for a little bit. But, uh, sadly, those kills on the villagers don't actually count towards souls, so that has barely changed. Although I am curious. I want to do the proper math on this. 17.6 17 at 17 .6 attack damage. 0.2 at a time every 5 villagers. 17 times 25, and then the extra 15 on top of it. How much is that? Uh, one second, let me grab either a calculator or something. One moment. Okay, so I've done the math, and if I did it right, I don't know. My, my brain and math have not gone going hand in hand lately. But if everything I did was right, it should have been just about 440, give or take, because there are... You, you do get extra points for killing child villagers. I haven't killed many, but I have killed a few. And, uh, 
Also, I don't know how close I am to the next point, so I'm saying 15, but it could be like 18 or 19. So, uh, yeah, I, I've been at this for a little while. I I played without volume so that I didn't have to hear more screams, but the screams definitely got to me last time. I did not like it very much. But um, anyways, I've just sort of just continued flying. I'm going to clear out this one last village, and then we'll get up to other uh, stuff for today. Because uh, we probably don't even really have that much longer in the series. Like, the last thing I really want to accomplish is becoming a demon lord. Which means I'm going to be taking our new super powerful sword, Morgan. Which is incredibly good at uh, gathering, at killing a whole bunch of and gathering souls. We're going to be taking this back to the pillager outpost. And we're going to be there killing... For a while, because we are currently at 1,000 scrolls. Scrolls, souls, black. And uh, we need to get to 10,000 for Demon Lord Evolution. Although there is something special if we get to 1,500 instead. Like we get an extra special skill. So, where we're already going to be gathering souls for a little bit, I figure why not just go the extra mile and get the cool special thing as well. But, uh, I'm just gonna finish up in this village, and then I think we're gonna head home so I can finish up with the, uh, uh, finish up of uh, enchanting this thing. Because I have still yet to do that. Oh, uh, there's only a couple more villagers left. Just talking a lot to talk over everything else going on. <laughs> Go away. But I think that's it. Don't see any more on the map. Don't see any more running about. We are 100% the villain of this story. Hey, Berserker. Gotcha. This sword is almost double the power of our main Shizu sword that we've been using this entire time. And we've had this for one episode and a bit. So... That's enough of that. I can mark this place as far out and continue searching from here if I need to. But I don't think I really need to get this sword any stronger. Far out. I need it to be on that page to head back to base. And let's get back to work trying to get this thing up to unbreaking. The max unbreaking is three, right? I'm suddenly forgetting. Uh, oh yeah, I never also got it looting either, but that's probably fine. Unbreaking 3, yes. So I'm just going to be here using up my levels, hopefully getting the right enchantments. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, it took me two books to get Unbreaking 2. That was rather simple. So I just do that. Here we go, Unbreaking 3 on it. Sadly, can't give this thing, un I can't give this thing mending, but it would be pretty overpowered considering it heals itself anyways. But, uh, I have a little bit of inventory stuff to take care of. How did I... Oh yeah, one of those enchantments was a level 30 enchantment. That explains why I'm so low all of a sudden. But, uh, let me just toss this stuff away. I, I thought I would have enough levels to actually enchant the armor we have as well but we don't so that's fine oops what did i just toss in there string does not go in here that does and that does everything else goes somewheres sure sure i think there's a few things in here that go in here come on mouse work with me let me finish up okay Inventories dealt with, enchanting's all done. Just gonna toss some of Mahu in there, although probably won't need much more of it. I use some Mahu for leveling up this thing, but uh, I don't know if there's any other spells I'm really interested in doing. I could bring this thing with me and start launching explosions again, but that didn't really work out last time. But uh, now that this thing's actually maxed out, I think it's time we're going to head over to the pillager outpost. And I need to get to work. Interesting, that didn't get eaten despite the fact I have gluttony on. Interesting, none of them are. That one did. I guess it's because... 
the extra damage for the extra range rather for the for Morgan's attacks is working weirdly so that it's not always getting eaten by Gluttony because they're out of range. Interesting. Uh actually it just dawned on me. How did I just kill a sheep? I, I have the Gyasas on them, so I shouldn't be able to hurt them. But the uh, more I think about it, 976. 975. I'm going to be killing pillagers for a long time. There's a rather high chance that I'm going to have to go find another village at some point before I can continue on. But at least I've got plenty of pillagers to deal with for right now, and the sword is freshly healed. So, I'm just going to be at work for a little bit, so I'll bring you back in a while. Okay, so I've been soul collecting for a little bit. Really? Go... Go away. I dislike you. I'm up to just shy of 40 to 100 souls now, which is pretty nice. I've had to switch to different means than using Morgan, because I haven't wanted to stop and go heal it just yet. So I started using Musician. But someone just spawned nearby. When, uh, she's gonna be causing some issues. I I've just been here doing this for a while now. And I knew it was gonna happen, but here's Hinata! Here's Hinata! I'm a third of the way... Am I a third of the way there yet? No. More like a fourth if I want to hit 1,500. But, uh, I, I've, I've gotten a decent amount of souls at this point. But someone had to come mess it up. Where is she? I want to draw her attention so I can get her away from here, but I don't know where she went. Um, I just got slowed. I saw her go into this village. Is she over there now? Um... Yeah, that's that's probably Hinata's doing. <laughs> um, where is she? Um, huh? Is she gonna run away on her own? I, that would be nice. Honestly, this is kind of more terrifying because now she can just jump out whenever she wants. <laughs> I was going to lead her away, but I'm not even getting slowed anymore. So I think she might have ran the other direction. <laughs> So, um, that might be an issue for future me, but for right now, I think I'm good to get back into it, and then, uh, when she sh decides to show her face again, I'm just gonna have to run, and hope she follows, at least far enough to get her away from here, because I, I kinda need this area to be Hinata free, but, uh, before I get too much longer into this, um, yeah, this is probably a pretty good time to go fix up the, uh, fix up Morgan and go deal with my inventory stuff. So, let's pop back. I'm gonna pop back home, then I'm gonna go out for a quick hunt and hopefully find a village. No, I know, where's that Hinata? Uh, it, where I'm already leaving this area for a little bit anyways, I might as well find Hinata and make sure she leaves as well. Where is she? She could be anywhere. Why did why did she have to disappear? But it the problem is she disappeared, but she didn't disappear enough, which is terrifying. But uh, I'm just gonna do a quick hunt. Hopefully, I can find her and lead her away. That's a Shizu, kind of uh, not as scary. But it looks like I'm just going to have to hope she doesn't cause issues for a little bit. I need to go sleep to get rid of you. Uh, so let's return to base. I'm going to like empty out my inventories and whatnot real quick. Sleep through the night. Probably empty my Mahu. Not that I really need to. Sleep. Inventories. And it's time to go kill more villagers. So I'll see you in a bit. There we go. I've managed to fix up the sword most of the way. Its attack damage is now up to 27.6, probably only like one or two more away from 27.8. Killed so many villagers with this thing. We're up to 23 from 17 that I started the video at. A extra damage that we've gained just by killing villagers with this thing. 
So many people have lost their life to it, but uh, once again, I have some more junk I just need to toss away. All of this, I should be able to just grab it all this time. Actually made a second battery because I had way too many of them. Uh, I had way too much magic uh, Mahu, and this one's already full up, so I actually made an extra one. I don't know if there's anything I'm really going to need all that Mahu for, but um, if I have more to save, might as well. But inventory's dealt with again. I think we're good to head back to the pillager base. Hopefully Hinata doesn't cause too many issues. She's still off somewhere over there, plotting her attempts to cause mischief. Uh, what are we looking at? How many pillagers do we currently have spawned in? Come on, come on, gather up. This is how I've been doing it. Sort of doing little flying around, or walking around on the ground occasionally killing off stragglers, but getting most of them to group up and just doing this. Game did not like how many pillagers I just killed in one swing. But, uh, I can almost one-shot them without... I can almost one-shot the regular Otherworlders without uh, using my uh, Berserker skill at this point. Speaking of which, Berserker is less than 100, le less than 100 kills away from maxing out, which is kind of cool. Okay, Hanada's definitely running off somewhere in that direction. That's good. So, yeah... Berserker is going to max out in just a little bit. I am almost halfway to my, uh, to, to getting enough souls for Demon Lord Evolution. Depending on how I feel when I reach that point, I might give up on Merciless, because it's, it's going to take a little bit. But, uh, I think I'm just going to keep at this. It's, uh, it's, it's so long. I knew it was going to take a while, but I, it just never clicked exactly how long it was going to take to gather all of the souls I need. This is definitely faster than it used to be. Use Musician every once in a while to preserve Morgan as much as possible. Anyways, so many pillagers to kill. We're not even halfway done. There's Hinata. She's made her way over here. No, move. <laughs> move. Oh my... There's another one over here, too. <laughs> oh, I heard thunder. And then I looked back and I... Oh, no, that's Hinata. <laughs> and there she was. She's no longer chasing me. Where did she go? Hinata, where are you? I need you to chase me out of here. I need you out of this area. <laughs> Oh, my brain is fried. Like it to note, it is now 1.30 a.m. I've been on here since like 9.30. I have killed so many pillagers at this point. It is insane how much I've been on doing. Like, uh, thought you do it. 6,000, over 6,000 pillagers dead at this point. And more or less all those souls are pillagers. I've been doing this for like four hours. <laughs> this... I might have misjudged exactly how... How long this would take. Or how much work this was gonna be. Cause my brain is completely fried. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish doing this today. Like, looking at the time on the video, we're only about 20 minutes in out of our normal 40-45. Oh no. You know what? I'm fine with it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but I'm fine with it. <laughs> oh, let's head back to base. I think I have some junk to toss away. Yep. Oh, I am fried. <laughs> and I'm not even close to done yet. Ah. Uh, I don't even know what else I have to, like, switch gears towards. It's not like there's an amazing... It's not like there's a whole lot else I could do. There are extra magic mods I could start jumping into. But, uh, I don't have the brain power for that right now. <laughs> this... This is insane. I forgot just how insane this was. Like... 
Actually, I don't remember the last time I actually became a demon lord in this mod. I've done it before, I know that. But I think it's been a while, and it, during that time fra frame, apparently I forgot just how ridiculous it could be, even when you have an amazing farming spot to work with. But you all can go in there. I turn all of these into... Uh, break, put all these together into as full durability as I can. Then they all get tossed in here and turned into Mahu. <laughs> Aw, but, uh, it's, it's busy work, but it's different busy work. <laughs> I am so tired. I apologize. The longer this video goes, the more incoherent I am going to become, I think. This, it's, it's so much work, so much death. <laughs> oh, I am, I might be losing it. <laughs> I, I fully think I am losing it. This, yeah. I, th I think Demon Lord Evolution will have to wait till next time. I'm sure I can come up with something else to finish up with for today. <laughs> oh. Feeling okay, game? You feeling how I'm feeling, game? <laughs> you can go in here. Oops. Come on, where'd you go? There you are. You go in. You don't have any space in there. That's why I didn't put you in there before. Okay, that's everything out of the bag. Um, banners. How many ominous banners do I have at this point? Probably far into the hundreds. But, uh, oh yeah, I was taking a look at something in the statistics, in the mobs. I have killed somehow. I, I, my, my math must have been wrong somewhere is with how it worked. But somehow I've only killed just over 400 uh, villagers, like 414, I believe was my count. So I don't exactly. So apparently I don't know how Morgan works because I thought I had counted out and got it every five. But maybe, I don't know, maybe some of the earlier levels gave it to you faster. I have no idea. But uh, on that note... Do we take issue with me adding 414 souls? Because technically I should have them. But I but I didn't because of a weird mod thing. <laughs> Where like the uh, Minecraft Comes Alive has like weird pseudo integration. Or not integration. But it sort of works with uh Tenshira, but not all the way, and it's weird with it. Do we mind if I just add 414 just to make this a little bit easier on myself? Because technically I should have those souls already. <laughs> but I'll probably add them at some point. I'm going to have to go kill more villagers anyways. So I'll hold off for now so I have like the proper number already. But uh, grab you, toss in a new one. You get turned in with you. I'm just going to keep doing that, keep... Turning Ma these into Mahu as time goes on. But, uh, that does leave me with a bit of a conundrum. I physically am unable to finish up gathering the rest of those souls right now. But I, but I still need to do something for the remainder of the video. I can't re really exactly end it off right now. It'll literally be half the time as a normal episode. So what can I do? Not entirely sure. There wasn't a whole lot left from Mahu I had wanted done. I mean, I could get some of the extra weapons. The Holy Lance Rongomeniad is acquired by throwing a lance into the lake into the lake of a power consolidation ritual. The only thing I can think of as to what a lance would be would be a trident. Because um, there's not really a lance in Minecraft, is there? Um... I'm assuming this will probably take some Maho, so I probably should have grabbed a battery while I was up there. Um, we'll try this, because I'm curious if this will work. Not that I really care about the weapon it's going to give me, but, uh, it's, it's something at least. Um, that had 5,000 and some on. That should be enough. I believe it was 5,000 to get Caliburn out of here. 
Throw in the trident. I forgot to turn you on. Did I? Come on. Uh, no, not, not Morgan. Do not turn Morgan into Caliber, and I spent way too long. Yeah, and during the time I went fishing for it, it ran out of man, ran out of Mahu. I don't think that worked though. Like there was a time when I should have had enough Mahu. I'll try it again with the more full battery. This thing's not going to run out that quickly. But, uh, mine. Power it on. Throw on the trident. I hear you, spider. Um, nope. So a trident is not the lance it is talking about. So what is? There's not really much in the way of lances in Minecraft. <laughs> So, I don't think we're going to be getting Ranga Miniad right now. <laughs> like, let me double check this. That was literally the only thing I could have thought of that would be a lance. There's no lance things. I think I've already done that. So I have no idea. Oh, that's actually filled up. Or, unfilled, rather. Literally the opposite of what I just said. So, we're not getting that. Um... I believe we had we had looked at replica before to get replica block an attack with a strength and shield i could do that in your main hand while also having immunity exchange maximum damage exchange stacks above 15 armor and over 100 death collection souls um i mean it would be some work but technically we could do it death collection i i had seen i read something about that before one of the eyes, I believe it's this one. Mystic Eyes of Death Collection. When used, the caster collects souls upon seeing death. This death can occur in any way, but the caster does have to be looking at it. If the caster has, enough, has collected enough souls, their death will be prevented in exchange for souls, whether or not the eyes are active. That sounds kind of cool. It's, ba it's basically, oh, kill a whole bunch of stuff, and you won't die. <laughs> And, I mean, that's not a whole lot of Mahu. We could use that six times, almost seven. We just need to make it. And we're already planning on killing at least 4,000 more things. So regardless of how many souls we actually need for this, this could be good. Anything to prevent me from dying is probably good in the long run. Mystic Eyes are a version, basically makes things... That are immune to things no longer immune to them. Mystic Eyes of Black Flame. When used, black flames will sprout at the caster's viewing location for a short time. These flames spread somewhat quickly but do not consume blocks and inflict wither damage to those who come in contact with them. I mean, it sounds kind of cool, but at this point, everything I'm doing, I'm sort of building towards trying to beat Hinata. <laughs> so. That's kind of the issue I'm at. Like, nothing else in this entire mod pack is scary to me. All I want to do at this point is beat Hinata, but I want to become a demon lord first. It's, it's this whole vicious cycle where everything leads to gather souls, and I don't want to gather more souls. I've spent way, way too long already tonight. What else is there? Order displacement. I believe moves things around on spots. Equivalent exploit does it the same thing if there's two spots are full. Temporarily leave your body and go into spectator mode, basically, but we already have that. Um, scrying circle on the ground allows the player to see a named mob or player from afar for a short amount of time. Simply drop a name tag on the circle, circle and if a mob is a player, kind of cool, unimportant. We've made strengthening scrolls, but we've only used them like once. Um, the first use of the scroll memorizes a tool or weapon you're looking at, or the, for the whole stack. Second use gives you a copy of the tool with limited durability. It drains 100 mana from the caster each time the scroll is used. Oh, okay. 
So if I made like 16 projection scrolls, two diamonds and a quartz, I think I can do that. Could I copy Morgan? In which case I wouldn't have to go killing as many as many of the villagers as I already have been. Would this work? Do I have quartz? I don't have any quartz powder, really. <laughs> Fine then. Which of these is the fuller battery? Uh, you're not it, but it will work. So, take like an entire stack of emeralds. Grab the mortar and pestle. Like so. If I turn this on. And just toss all of these on there. That was a lot of mana. How many quarts did I get? 13. That should do. Why did I pick that up? That's empty. We can just fill it back up at some point. That works. So, want to make some spell scrolls. 16 of them. Or I guess 13, because that's how many quarts I have. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You don't pick them back up, apparently. Just now notice that. So, like so, come on, there we go, there we go, all of that was good, grab out the quartz, the doot, 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 boop, 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 and then two diamonds for each, I think I have more diamonds, and even if I I think I already have more diamonds ground up, rather. And even if I don't, I actually have just enough. Like, the actual perfect amount. But it's okay, I had extra diamonds even if I didn't. So if I toss Morgan on the ground, and then I use this on it, then... Okay, so when it said limited, it really meant it. But it does keep its stuff. Okay, okay. So, this actually lets me test out a thing I was thinking about. So we have the synthesis and separation thing. We haven't gotten to use this, though. Will this work, or will it break something? This should allow me to make this a sharpness 6, unbreaking 4, fire aspect 3. Or it's going to break everything. I have no idea. Um... Sharpness 6, Fire Aspect 3, and Breaking 4. It worked. And it kept its... Okay, okay, okay. I see how this is... Oh my goodness, it fully restored it too. This is broken. Hold on, hold on. This... This... Is entirely busted, what I'm about to do. But it is very cool... This should get me Sharpness 7, Fire Aspect 4, Unbreaking 5. It's only getting stronger, and, I have not, and I'm not going to have to kill many more villagers with it. Yes! <laughs> Doop. Doop, doop, doop. Just do that. <laughs> okay, so that's the real good one. That's the less good one, but still a good one. <laughs> so if I do that, that gets me another one of these tier. That gets me another one of these tier. That Morgan is only getting stronger. <laughs> oh, okay. Thing is, I don't really care about anything else on this except for the insane unbreaking we're about to get. <laughs> Sharp 7. Okay, that's one less tier than that. These two together gets me that tier. Hold on, I need to make more of those scrolls and get more Morgans and just keep doing that until this is completely maxed out. If I remember correctly, the thing's synthesis said I could only do it up to five times. So I believe the max is sharpness 10 that I can get by doing this, and so fire aspect 7 and unbreaking 8. So let me do this. How much quartz did I get? How much diamonds? Good enough, I think. How many do I need? Um, that is sharp six, fire us back three. I'm breaking four. 
Um. Okay, so. Oh, and I can just copy. I only need one. I can just copy the really good one. Um. Actually, no. I need four more copy. Uh, this should do. Doop doop doop. Doop doop. Doop doop. Doop doop. There's these. Here's the really good one, the sharp eight. And I'm just going to have extra ones, apparently. That's doop, doop, doop. Doop, 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 daisy. Those together gets me an even better one. Those together gets me the higher tier one. This together, sharp 10, fire aspect 7, unbreaking 8. Okay, let's go swat a thing with this, shall we? Okay. I'm going to love that Unbreaking 8. Because the biggest problem with Morgan is the fact that it breaks way too easily. It does not have as much durability as I would hope it was. Like, the Shizu Sword is double-edged. And this thing doesn't have mending. So, <laughs> that is a major boost. I am very glad I did that, or thought about doing that. Thank you, Degenerate. That is amazing. Um, fill up the battery to up my Max Mahu a little bit. But, uh, there's one... one spell I'm very glad I thought about. Um... Using the scroll grants the caster a weapon, which allows the caster to simultaneously teleport to and attack an entity they can see at long range. Which one? Which weapon is that? Did we take a look at that one? I think I meant to, but never did. That is... What is this Clarent? That this? Um... Oh, the Crimson Black Keys of Proximity Projection. Am I gonna assume that Proximity ejection, Projection... Gives you the thing named Proximity Projection. That's probably a pretty safe bet. So, two diamonds and an ender. Sure, might as well make it just to test it out. Kind of the point we're at right now. So, like so. Boop. I said boop. Two diamonds and an ender gives me this. Crimson Black Keys of Proximity Projection. I'm assuming I can just... Look at an entity. How far away can they be? Apparently you're in range. Oh, they just... They broke after one use. Okay. Oh, that's... I mean, that's cool. That was very long range. Like, I think I saw the little circle as I was falling down. But the fact that it only lasts for one hit and it's not super strong... Kind of... Makes it less than worth it. Oh, another kind of cool thing. Using the scroll grants the caster a bow, which can shoot tools and weapons. It drains 100 mana from the caster on use of the scroll. Shift right click with the bow to use only projected weapons and projection scrolls. Okay, so that gives us this weird blue glowy bow here. Which will just, if you have like a diamond sword in your inventory, it will fire that. Kind of happy about the shift firing to not throw your regular weapons, because I would suck to lose Morgan and she uh, my Shizu sword. I mean, that would probably throw my dagger too if I had that in. So, I don't know. It's not like I have a whole lot of swords to use. Actually, I mean, this mod does have a dimension in it. it it's literally right here. The reality marble. This scroll teleports the user, and optionally a target the user is looking at, to a fixed spot in the reality marble. If the user has a target, one of the two must die for the other to leave. Otherwise, taking damage will allow the player to leave. It drains 4,000 mana from the caster on use. Three diamonds and a cloth. Sure. I know what's in here because I've seen pictures. I don't think I really care about anything in here. But, uh... It's interesting enough. So there's the diamonds I need. Huh. I 
What was that? Huh? <laughs> Did that... I've never seen that before. It... I didn't realize this mod had that. So this is the last thing you made. Do you want to remake it? Okay, then. I didn't realize that existed. Anyways... Let's actually make the thing I'd wanted to this time. That dagger, here it is. Like so. Doop, doop, doop. Scroll of the reality marble. Probably make sure I have some inventory space, so... Anything in here can go in there. This should do... Scroll of the reality marble. I just need you to be on and doop. Welcome to the reality marble! It's vast and empty, except for a whole bunch of enchanted swords that you can pick up, and they all have, like, one durability, and they got various enchantments on them. That's all there is to this dimension. It's kind of cool-looking. Like, I've, I've, I've seen pictures, but it's been a while. Curious. This place might actually spawn some of the modded stuff. Like, that is technically a modded structure. It's just not a very big one with anything in it. But it doesn't... I don't see any other ones. So, maybe not. But I suppose this is a good enough place that used a lot of mana, so we uh, probably gained a little bit more. And if we want to collect a whole bunch of swords for, like, the magic... Uh, shooty bow. The sword shooting bow. I guess we could do that here. Eh... Kind of cool, probably not that important. This. Uh, another little structure, nothing really to it. Right? Okay, yeah, figured I'd double check it, but nothing there. And we just have some of those structures scattered around the place, so no major structures spawn here. But it said I could leave by taking damage, so the dagger does enough. Okay. Interesting, my Mahu actually disappeared for a second when I came back through. But, yeah, that's the reality marble. Kind of cool. If we were going through the whole sword route, the cool magic bow route. <laughs> but, uh, the extra Morgans can sit in here for now. And if need be, this one ever breaks, we can go get copies of it. I can't... Hmm... I can make a whole bunch of copies of these and hopefully, and I'm not sure if I could put them back in here or not. If they would work that way, like if it if you had two broken ones, if they would repair in there, even though they can't mix their enchantments. An interesting thought, one I'll probably have to test out. But uh, oh yeah, I can definitely just one shot you know as you know. But, uh, looking at the time, I managed to kill enough of it with random nonsense from Mahu. So, uh, yeah, I did not accomplish our goals for today. But we got a large way there. I literally could not continue on right now, even if I wanted to, though. I, yeah, I'm losing all sense of time and space right now. I am very tired. <laughs> But um, anyways, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.